combination of automation, big data, data analysis, it's, it's very powerful. So I think uh, those, you know, those three things are, are what I'm looking forward to. I mean, I'm, I'm a sci-fi geek, so I just, I see this as our, our next step towards, you know, being able to, you know, produce androids and stuff and, you know, eventually we'll have spaceships and we'll be able to fly off to Mars. We're automating everything and we're optimizing everything. Factories are going to become more and more automated. Things are just going to be done on their own. Problems will be known, you know, immediately as they come about and so, you know, that's just going to improve the overall quality of, of how production will work. Hermes and uh, CFX kind of go hand in hand to both provide a much better conveyance of boards and uh, sharing of information between all the machines. Now all the machines can communicate with each other. They don't have to just be immediately next to each other. It's all the lines are connected as one. Everyone sharing information with everyone else, and so that that sharing of communications and information is something that just optimizes the whole process. Actually, no, I've, I've been so many in the standards meeting so far, so I've just come on the shop floor just now, but uh, it's fun so far. But I can tell you on the standards, it's been interesting. We had a very good discussion uh, yesterday uh, around, around the way standards will move forward. Um, you know, typically for base materials, we've looked at the chemistry, you know, the chemical composition of materials. You know, the designers really have some problem to, to get to grips with the chemistry because, you know, these are not chemists, these are electrical engineers. And I think um, if we could give them more of a performance-based or sectorial-based approach, so perhaps try and curate products into groups. So an automotive designer would have materials that would really fit his kind of application area. A designer of, uh, let's say, aerospace or military components, another set, a medical maybe another set. But at least, at least narrow down the field of selection for people so they can choose the right material at the right cost and the right performance. We've had a lot of interest in our, our materials. It's, designs are always changing and uh, people are looking for different solutions for their designs. One is a, uh, a very thermally robust material um, for automotive and high power applications. Vehicle electrification, underhood. Uh, it's not based on polyimid or uh, the typical resin systems. It's based on a new resin polymer. It uh, has very good uh, calf resistance, very good uh, thermal performance. They also have a new low loss material called uh, TerraGreen 400G. On the DuPont side, they have a new material called uh, GPL which is a flexible B-stage uh, adhesive that's lower loss than the typical adhesives used. So signal loss, of course, is uh, continuing to be an interest to, to companies and uh, people keep pushing the envelope. Shut down because of the next door neighbors. Demo. They're gonna call the cops. That's okay. <laughs> you gonna be wiping those weeping eyes. That's, it. That's nice. the ending there.